Hi everyone, this is Jody Luster, and you're on Elevated Living at ElevateMe.org, and this is The Daily Lift. Today I want to talk about the power of desire. Desire is powerful and strong and magnetic in many ways. When we're talking about relationships, sometimes we get sucked in by the desire of someone else. You've often had mild feelings for someone, but their desire for you was so over the top that it kind of won you over. The problem with that is that if it's not your thought, if it's not your emotion and it's not your idea, it sometimes wears off a lot faster than a long lasting bond built on mutual compatibility, respect, and just being equal in the same vision and motion and direction. Desire also works in other ways. Sometimes we've been sucked in by the desire of people who wanted us to join their business, be a part of their vision, and sometimes that worked out very well, and sometimes not so well. Desire is strong. Desire is magnetic. There's a hunger there. There's a pull that is like gravity and hard to resist. The other side of desire is our own desire. When we want something really bad, when we're willing to sacrifice, when we're willing to take risks, step outside our comfort zone, be outrageous to get what we want, we get what we want. Now, the problem with that is sometimes the things we want aren't always the best things for us. Sometimes the objects of our desire can be painful, can be laden with heavy consequences, or can be just downright unsatisfying. But desire is powerful. It's good for us to focus our desire, to aim our desire in a positive and productive direction. Now that means something different for everyone. But just keep in mind how powerful desire is. How powerful the push and how powerful the pull. This has been Jody Luster or JL on Elevated Living at ElevateMe.org. And until we next connect, keep your antennas out. Not just for others' desire, but for your own while also being mindful that you're living the very best of life. Talk to you soon.